Well, here we are at the Waterfront Hall in Belfast, where rehearsals are in full swing for the 2012 youth lyric production, The BFG by Roald Dahl. There's around 50 young people in this production. Little people with a big challenge ahead. But they're not ones to shy away from that challenge. They are determined to bring this classic tale to life on the stage in style. It, it's hard, but it, it's really hard to remember the lines, but I really do love it. It's like something I really enjoy. To dance, you've got to pick a spot. I lose my spot. Different because I always dance in the shows. And as a dancer, I think I've moved so much forward. And the first year I didn't act at all, this year and last year I did a bit of acting, so that's getting better as well, so that's good. For the third year on the trot, Sheila O'Kane is the director of Youth Lyric Stage Production. Sheila works tirelessly with the kids, the other Youth Lyric staff and the parents to ensure an outstanding production makes it to the Waterfront Hall every year. Oh yeah, well you try to, a lot of them are interested in theatre and some of them aren't interested in theatre at all, um, which is good in a way because you get a real mix. I'm kind of wondering, should you come on with the mum and dad and be there just to end the conversation? And, um, and we work on the ethics of that they all become friends and it becomes a big team thing and they, um, they it's always ensemble work which relies heavily on teamwork and so a lot of them are doing other things like Duke of Edinburgh and um, speech and drama exams and some of them are training already with Belfast Matt and some of them are um, in lots of different schools um, so it gets you get a real cross community feel and mix so some of them don't necessarily need to be dancers Jane works an awful lot with dancers but they don't have to be dancers and they don't have to be actors and they don't have to be singers um, and we audition from the pool um, of all the students within Youth Lyric and that's, we then take, you know, what we're looking for. It's not just even about the performance, that every child at the end of, of the year will get up on stage and perform in festival as well. Oh. So every child gets that experience of, of getting up onto the stage, and, which is from the little ones, from the yes. tiny ones right up to the older ones. So. Well, rehearsals are well underway and everybody's getting ready to bring this production to life. But there are other important partnerships that help bring every Youth Lyric production to the stage. Youth Lyric is a registered charity and as such it depends on these partnerships with the community in order to offer its students from whatever walk of life they come or whatever their background an opportunity to appear on stage every year. One of these partnerships is with Belfast Metropolitan College. Belfast Met believes that project-based learning is a vital part of the curriculum and an excellent way in which students will gain industry relevant skills. And these skills won't only improve their learning experience whilst at college, but are also skills that they can take with them as they progress into further study and also into industry. It's such a privilege to be able to um, witness the um very early stages, I suppose, of the um, production, and I'm really looking forward to attending the, the performance whenever it arrives at the Waterfront Hall. Um, I'm really struck by the enthusiasm and the energy of everyone who's involved, and I wish everyone really well for the big night. Um, it's been really great to, um, to be here tonight um, to see the first stages of the BFG coming together, and I'm really excited um, about getting to see it in the Waterfront um, in a few weeks' time. Students from several courses at Belfast Metropolitan College are out in force, including students from media, music, hospitality and graphic design courses offered by the college. But the real stars of the night are much younger than the students of Belfast met. But that doesn't mean that they're any less focused. Some of us want to go on to maybe do a bit of acting, maybe go on to do acting school. Some of us still do, I guess, drama, GCSE drama. Yeah. And other, others do... It's just a hobby. Yeah, some, I of, think, I think some of us do grades, the three of yeah. us do grades. Yeah, so. I, think uh, for, I think for a lot of people though, it's also like a bit of a, like a confidence building kind of oh, thing. Absolutely. And, and, like, yeah, a, and yeah. like a social you thing. Really, it's, you really see people coming out of their shell yeah. in, in Youth Lyric and in um, doing the workshops especially. Yeah, yeah, when they're yeah. really Performing in front of your peers, I don't care what anybody says, it's a lot more daunting than performing in front of that audience. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes friends and family can be the toughest critics. That's why it's back to the hard work of rehearsals.
I found it really hard to find my character last year, but I think with all the team exercises and stuff that we did, it really helped to bring out my character and the characteristics of the Queen. <laughs> At the start, no one knows anyone, but by the end of it, we're all like a big family. It's great. Bones found underneath dormitory windows. Not only do these young people have to perform in front of friends and family and people that they know, but also in front of the great and the good from right across Northern Ireland. Because there's dance, there's music, there's speaking, there, 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 there's all that mixed in. And as a next village schoolmaster, I know how important it is for young children to get together and direct their energies in that sort of constructive way. It was one of my favourites at school. Yeah, but you come to a performance like this and you see kids from all across Belfast and beyond. There's kids here travelling from Matterfalt and Armagh, you know, to do rehearsals, to carry out their work backstage, everything they're doing. So it's a great vehicle, uh, it's a great introduction to the arts, a growing sector here in the city. Uh, but it's also a great excuse for us to come along and see a brilliant performance. It's always about investing in the future of Northern Ireland and investing in our skills. And uh, the creative arts is very much part of that agenda. No, but I expect she's heard of me. Well, away from the glitz and glamour of opening night, this is the standard youth lyric look at every class. It's the youth lyric hoodie. We have our name down the side here, and everybody gets a personalised one with their own initials on it. Believe it or not, Youth Lyric raised its first curtain more than 50 years ago, and that means that hundreds of children have tread the boards during that time. One woman in particular has been helping our young actors every step of the way for 25 of those years. First Lady of Youth Lyric celebrating 25 years, Mrs Anne Carson. I enjoy the job very much. We have a lovely group of tutors that we've worked with. We've all worked together for a long time. And um, the students we have, are, they come from all over Belfast, but they're, they're a lovely gang of students. Well, here we are, it's opening night at the Waterfront Studio for Youth Lyrics production of the BFG 2012. It's so exciting, we've been through blood, sweat and tears, weeks and weeks and weeks of rehearsals, of costume fittings, of scene changes, of songs, of dance movements. It's so exciting. We have a full house tonight. I'm hoping everybody loves it. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the opening night of BFG.